Hi everybody, Todd here. I'm so excited to be back with Community Works and showing you some cool art projects. So, my one of my favorite projects I've ever made is a clothespin puppet. Now, this is a little puppet. You make it out of paper and you use a clothespin. Or you can use some other things too that'll work. But I love this puppet because I love a thing called ventriloquist dummies. And ventriloquist dummies were puppets that you could actually control from the back. They are so much fun to play with. And this is the closest thing I've found. So here I'll show, I'll show you, here we go, here we go. Oh, uh, hey everybody, how's it going? It's so good to see everybody. Oh, uh, well, I guess that's all I have to talk about. I'm really boring since this, being a shut-in with all this pandemic stuff. Ah, here's Mr. Todd back. Ah, oh my gosh, what an amazing puppet. And what an amazing puppeteer. That's me. So, what I want to show you how to do today is make one of these amazing clothespin puppets. They are going to be so much fun. Now, all you need are some stuff from around the house. So, I'm going to exit over here and grab a couple of things. The first thing you need is a good strong piece of paper like um a card stock an index card works great if you've got an index card those work great you can use the plain side if you want to if you want to use the striped side it's up to you but that's a thicker piece of paper you may have something else you want to use too but something that's a little stronger works a little better you're going to need da, 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 a clothespin or I found these work too, these little paper clip things like that. You can use, they're kind of hard to work, but you know, if you work it a little, cause you can glue it right there and then go like blah, 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 blah. But these work best. And they sell these at the grocery store, big giant bags of them. They're like 50 for a dollar, $2, something like that. So if your mom goes to a grocery store, if she orders groceries, ask them to send some, that's it. Uh, you're going to need a pair of scissors for cutting everything out. You're going to need a black marker to draw with, a pencil, a black marker and a pencil, a hot glue gun or a nice glue stick. I like the purple ones because they, you can see where you put the glue. And then a marker, a black marker. Uh, this is an Expo marker, but it would actually work. You could use a dry erase marker. You can use almost any marker you want. So the first thing you gotta do though is figure out how to draw this thing. So as I always say, start in pencil and then trace over using a dark marker or crayon. All right, thanks. Okay, so I'm gonna show you now how to draw this. The first thing you need to do is on your piece of paper, start with drawing a face. So I'm gonna start with a bunch of circles here. Now a head can be shaped like a circle, but since you're doing a silly puppet, you could shape it however. You could shape it like a pear if you wanted to, just like that. Or you could shape it like an alien too. That would work good. Any sort of shape will work. You could do square or triangles, whatever you wanted. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put eyes. Now, when I draw eyes, I want them to have a lot of expression to them because you can uh, tell how a person is feeling through their eyes or you can do a lot of things that's really easy to do. Now, when you're doing these puppets, you can do straight on. So I always like to draw eyes with two eyes, two eyebrows, two eyelids, and two pupils, just like that. Now, if I wanted to, if I can make this puppet sort of look this way too, I could kind of put the eyes over to the side just a little. And if I want to, I can make angry eyes. So watch what I do. I'm gonna go angry eyebrows, angry eyelids, and angry pupils. Uh, let's see with this one, maybe I'll do surprised eyes, woo! And with this one, maybe I will do, let's see, maybe I'll do eyes far apart. That could be funny too. Maybe I'll do this one even more far apart. And then I could do sad eyes, just like that. 
Next, I'm going to add a nose. So I like to use the letter L, but you could use the letter J. That makes a good nose. You could do a circle, just a big button nose. Or you could do whatever you want. Anything works. What else works? Oh, the letter V. That makes a great nose. I love that one. So now I'm going to put a mouth. Now, putting the mouth on this thing is really important. So this is what you're going to need to do. You're going to need to do a line that goes here. So I'm going to have this guy look this way. So I'm going to do his mouth this way, just like that. And on this guy, I'm going to do, now I do do my mouth straight because you're going, what you're going to end up doing is cutting along here. So maybe I'll put some lips on here, just like that. Maybe some thin lips. Just like that. I could put some vampire teeth. That could be fun. Uh, let's see, I could do a talking mouth too, just kind of talking like that. But remember, I'm going to make a line that cuts right there. So then I'll throw some ears on here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe some pointy ears on this guy, make him look kind of fun. Oh, I like him already. Uh, you know, I'm gonna make him look a little creepier, so I'm gonna put some bags under his eyes, just like that. And then uh, maybe another one, just like that. Maybe some worry lines right up here. Oh, crow's feet. Oh my gosh, I've made him look creepy already. Love it. So now I'm gonna add a little hair. Maybe I'll do some curls. Or I could do a little bit of hair on top here like this and then do a nice big side pony just like that. Oh, she looks happy. Uh, maybe Mr. Potato here. I can do maybe just some spiky hair. And on this one, maybe I'll just put some hair right here on the sides. And that's how you just throw a face together really quick. Now, any way you want to draw, it's great, too. You can put any sort of face you like on there. That's totally up to you. Hey, so the next thing I'm going to do on this is I ended up keeping this one face, so I'm going to add a body to go to it. Now, you could do the body on a separate piece of paper if you want to. You just want to give it a long neck. So I'm going to do a shirt first. Mm, mm, mm. And maybe I'll give him some shorts and a leg. And you can make a body however you want. It's totally up to you. You don't have to follow my style at all. I'm just showing you how I do it. And then I'm going to do some arms. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. All right. And now I'm gonna make a really long neck. So I'm gonna kind of make it kind of heavy. And let's see, I'm gonna put Todd on here. Since this puppet will be called Todd. After me, your art teacher. So that's how you make a body. And you can do it really quick. If you don't know how to make a body, you can always do a rectangle with some arms and some feet and just put a neck on them and you just attach it to your puppet or if you want to you can also do a dress using a triangle make a neck part on it and one two three four and that's a really simple way to do it too if you need a simpler one you can get more complex with this if you want to Okay, everybody, here's an example of the puppet that I drew, but I drew this one on paper. And as you can see, I used a black marker right here, and then I colored it with crayon. You could color it with marker or whatever you want. But if you put that black line in there, you'll always, your drawing will show up more. Now notice this too, I didn't color in the white part of the eye, I left that white. Because when we draw our eyes, it's sometimes that's white. Now, if you're doing like a crazy monster or something, of course you could do whatever you want. And then I just drew a body right here, which is really fun. Now, I can take my crayons and do some beautiful coloring in here and make this really look. Now, I can get 
as elaborate as I want in this or not. You can do whatever you want with that and it's gonna look fantastic. Okay, everybody, I have cut out my puppet and the body and I colored it in. So what this is gonna do is this is gonna go like that together when I'm done. But right now I'm keeping them separate. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this face and I'm gonna cut where the mouth is. I'm gonna cut there, but wait a minute, instead of stopping, I'm gonna go all the way across. So it makes two separate pieces like that. Then I'm gonna take my clothespin, just like this. Now I find it best to open these up. So get a mom or dad to help you with this if you need to. Um, these are kid friendly um, glue guns. So what I'm gonna do the first thing is I'm gonna take that glue and I'm gonna put it on top, just like that. The reason I open this, so now I'm gonna line that up with that. I'm sort of take my finger and press it down. Now you can close it at that point and then I hold it down for just a second. And voila, that part's done. Now I'm gonna do take it again and I'm gonna do the bottom part just like that. And now I'm gonna open it again, and then I'm gonna line up my mouth just like that. Up, oh, if I shut it down there and line it up, now I can press it down too. So it's together like that, and voila, I can sing. Oh, I like this puppet already. So now I'm gonna attach the body. So my neck is like that. I think there's two things you can do. You can attach it to the lower part of your mouth right here, or you can attach it to this part right here. So I think I'm going to attach it to the back part, but I think my neck is a little too long, so I'm gonna just shorten it a little. Just like that, nice and shorter. So now I'm gonna take my glue gun and I'm gonna put a little glue on th this part right back here. And then I'm gonna attach my neck. And like I said, I'm gonna attach my neck right there. And hold it, hold it, hold it. Voila, I've got a puppet, just like that. Oh, I have to say this in my voice, coach. So this is how you make your clothespin puppet. And I absolutely love them. I think you can make tons of them. Okay, everybody. So this is how you make your clothespin puppet. Hello, everybody. I'm a clothespin puppet. Now, you're going to have so much fun with these. When I was a kid, I made hundreds of puppets. Had I known about this kind of puppet? Um, hundreds, probably. I probably would have made hundreds of them. So easy to do. Like I said, if you don't have a glue gun, just use a glue stick. But just wait for it to dry a little longer. It's just going to take a little longer to dry than it normally would. But a glue gun will work, too. You've got that. Um, like I said, if you don't have a clothespin... You can also get mom or dad to help you with a little paper clip thing like this. Those work great because you can hold it in back and go blah, 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 just like that. So anyway, that's your clothespin puppet. Any comments or anything, put them down below. And I look forward to seeing you with our next video. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.